We're stealing my car. What happened, Ste Andrew? My car got stolen, and we're stealing <laughs> it back, bitch. This is the team. Reverse GTA. Hands in. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto on three. Grand Theft Auto. Hello, Uber to where the tracker said it was and found it ourselves. <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you just got the Thank you, you're the best five stars. Yo, shout outs to them. They're making it sound like they were doing such a horrible thing, stealing their vehicle back. But there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, man, if you call the cops, they say they can't do nothing and you can go get your vehicle back without any bloodshed, do it. Yo, yo, can we get three tips for the, the girls out there to manipulate men? First, you got to act dumb. You got to act like you need this man, all right? You got you got to let him take you out to dinner. You got to let him pay for everything that you want. We're going to gaslight the f out of this dude, all right? We're going to let him hit. I don't care if he blows your f***ing mind, bro. Like, you're going to tell him it was me. We're going to ghost this man for like a month, two months, a year. I don't give a f***. He's gonna be so confused, so hurt that you told him this shit was mid. Then you're gonna text him and be like, yo, you blew my f***ing mind. Come oh my over. god. So you're gonna tell this man to come over, you're gonna let him hit again, and then you're just never gonna talk to him ever f***ing again. So I get to hit two times though. You get to hit two times, but the girl gets to win. What those yeah. two times are? <laughs> so it says this is the definition of toxic, but really this is the definition of somebody wasting their time. Because let's really be honest, you tell the dude he's mid, Okay, whatever. He's just going to probably improve his skills or whatever down the road. But you call him again later and say that it blew your mind. Come click up. He smashes again and he never call him again. He's going to be looking like, eh, that was a win. I didn't have to spend anything for the second time. And this is the type of woman. This is the sad part. This is the type of woman that when she actually finds someone she's liking, she's going to make them wait because she's worth more. But if she's going to be toxic and waste somebody and just give it up to somebody just to play with their mind, gaslight them all. So this is the sickness. Like, there's some backwards people, man. Like, it just it just does not make any sense for real, man. It's actually tiresome to realize how random and, and just off kilter some people's minds are for real. So I just got diagnosed with vaginal stenosis. <laughs> If you're confused, hi, I'm Zaya, I'm transgender. And like eight months ago, I got bottom surgery or gender confirmation surgery. So I had a PP and now I have a vagina. And let me just preface this by saying, I do not regret getting surgery. I do not regret it. So I don't want any of y'all conservative ass bitches to twist my words. I do not fucking regret surgery. However, I knew recovery was gonna be hard, but nobody tells you that it could be this fucking hard but yeah i was diagnosed with vaginal stenosis and if you don't know what that is it's basically when scar tissue gets built up inside of the vaginal canal to the point where it's like extremely tight and uncomfortable and the thing is for the first year after getting bottom surgery you have to dilate your vagina religiously because it's a brand new canal that needs to be kept open religiously for the first year and now that i have this stenosis i i physically cannot dilate my vagina still has depth but it's so tight to the point that it could start to close and form pockets that could lead to infection, which means that I have to get uh, another surgery. I basically just have to get the surgery all over again and get my vagina replaced. And like, it's just so fucking annoying. And it just sucks because my vagina has made me so happy, happier than I've ever been. I finally feel comfortable in my body. It's so pretty on the outside. It's just the inside of it that's all fucked up. And now I have to get an emergency revision surgery. I'm still waiting on the date. Hopefully it's soon. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and be open and honest because I hope this shows you guys that being transgender, I would never choose this lifestyle. I did not choose to struggle like this. Yes, you did. All of the struggles that I've been through and I'm still going through are just to feel comfortable with my fucking self, to feel comfortable in my fucking body. And it's so hard. It's so fucking hard. But I would do this shit all over again if I had to. What? I would do it all over again. But yeah, bottom surgery is not for the weak, babe. It's not for the weak.
But at the end of the day, I know that I can get through it. I know it's all going to be worth it in the end. No matter how much pain I have to go through, it'll all be worth it just to be comfortable with myself. So yeah, I'll keep y'all updated. Hopefully I get scheduled for my surgery soon. But yeah. So many things to say, but I'm going to leave it at this. This is what they need to show kids. This is what they really need to show. This can be a problem. You got to go get another surgery off of a surgery you just got done. Why? Because your body's trying to heal up. It's trying to heal from what it is not naturally meant to be. It's like, hold on, man. I got to fix it. Why am I? I'm a guy. Why do I have an open hole in the front besides the urinary tract? Like, what is going on? I got to close this back up because this was never open before. You see what I'm saying? And the fact that this dude, this person says... I don't regret it, but you're sitting there crying about the pain and everything that you're going through, but then say, this is not a life that you choose. You chose the surgery because you have body dysmorphia. I'm sorry, people can get mad at it, but this is what it is. You are literally going against what your body actually is. So I'm, I'm going to do this surgery. It's painful. I'm going to redo it again it's because I can now feel comfortable in my body, but your body is not comfortable with what you're doing to it. That's all it is. Like, you got to face the facts, man. Your body wasn't meant for that to happen, which means that you were originally in your correct body and now you're playing with it, trying to be dressed up and be a woman. And your body is telling you this is not working because it's telling you this is not what you are. Whatever. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section and be on the lookout for more videos. All right, everybody. Peace.